Hello, hello, and welcome back to Game Brigade. I'm your host, Brian, and on this show, we do reviews, previews, playthroughs, and have conversations about our favorite board games. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Today on the show, we're doing something 100% completely different than I've ever done. And I don't think this will be like a mainstay feature of my channel, but, you know, it's going to be more real, I guess, in terms of uh, content and so what we're doing is a vlog and it's going to be a behind the scenes look of my studio my setup and how i film some of the content that you guys see so if you're a person who one likes to see how things operate behind the camera or you're kind of interested in maybe learning how content creation is done maybe for your own purposes maybe you want to do content creation of your own i think this might be uh, a video for you. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to try to make this as coherent as possible as we move through my room uh, and kind of talk about everything. So I think one of the most important things to talk about up front are the cameras. I don't necessarily think equipment um, makes or breaks a channel. I do think uh, if you have a phone, you know, this can 100% make any content that you need for content creation. Um, but for me, I have uh, moved beyond that. I've, I've been doing YouTube for maybe 15 years. I've been on YouTube for a long time. And so I've gone to the point now where I've upgraded some of my equipment and I have more professional grade equipment, which I'm pretty happy with, uh, to try to bring the best content I can uh, to YouTube and to you guys. So what I have over here, first off, I have a dedicated section of my office, which is pretty much for my lenses, my cameras. The camera you're on right now is my vlogging camera. It's a Canon G7X. It's a 1080p camera. I very rarely use it. Uh, so I'm mostly just using either the Lumix. This is the GH5. This is a great camera, in my opinion, for videography. Not so much photography, but you know, if you're a professional photographer, it's still pretty good. But for me, I bought that mostly for videography. And I've got three lenses that I use with the Lumix. I have the 8 to 18. I think this is a, a 10 to 15 or something. And this is the 30. This is a micro lens. This is the 12 to 35. And those are all Lumix lenses. Over here, I have my lenses for my Sony. My Sony is now my primary camera. So this is the 70 to 200 millimeter. And this is 24 to 70. And then over here is actually where my Sony kind of lives its life. If you can see that, let's get some light. Get some light back here, okay. So this is my Sony that pretty much is my main cam uh, camera at this point for all my content creation. It's the Sony A uh, A6600 and I have a Sigma lens on here. So it's not a Sony lens, it's a Sigma lens, but I've been very impressed with it. And if you see back here, it's hardwired and it hardwires in back here through that cam link right there which is how I turn my DSLR cameras into a webcam, which is a great feature. I don't think a lot of people know about that. And I think it's incredibly useful. So those are the cameras that I use. So right now for my videography, for my videos, I try to run a three camera setup for anything that does the studio side. I have the upper camera, the main roll camera, and then my phone has been the close up shot camera which has been really great so the camera you're on right now kind of is retired but it still works great it's my vlogging camera and it'll kind of keep doing its subtle little rolls over here this is probably like the least exciting part of my office i have just a lot of doodads and equipment here is equipment that i use for studio if i need like a play mat for something or if i need uh, extra cables um microphone stands Everything is in there. Um, other than that, nothing too exciting in terms of work. 
Up here I do have my laptop, which I have to use to transfer all of my data from the cameras onto that. And then I transfer from that to the PC. It's really a headache, um, but it's the only thing I have right now for that system. Mostly because this thing is a piece of crap and uh, I don't like using it. I've lost data and I've lost videos using this. So I don't really like trust that anymore. And then I've got my own coffee machine because I like coffee and uh, I'm kind of bougie with the coffee that I want to drink. So I got the cheapest coffee maker I can because I'm, I'm weird like that. Over here, I have my board game wall, which has been seen before. I'm pretty proud of it because I've added the LED lights that you can see. Those were kind of my Christmas gift to myself and a little project I did over the over the couple of, you know the holiday to um, kind of brighten this space up and I love it. The lights are also customizable so I can change the colors full RGB um, but I mostly keep them on this. You'll notice I've got some spacing here and over here. That's because I'm trying to uh, kind of clean it up for uh, more games that are beginning to be coming soon. Uh, so I needed some more space and I'm planning on maybe doing a video on games that I'm selling. So there's that. Okay. So then we've got the actual studio equipment. You can see here I have my overhead camera or overhead. Yeah, it's my overhead camera. It's my overhead um, setup, my boom arm on the tripod. And which is interesting, what I like to do, you'll see on the bottom of this Lumix, I have the hookup already pre-assembled, so I don't have to do anything. I just come in here, and I click it up right here, and we're good to go. And then I got the battery pack here, so I don't have to worry about power, and I just plug her right in. So that this is a multi-system here setup. Uh, I connect it here. You can see this thing, the hard thing about this thing is this arm wants to sink to the weight of the camera. Um, having heavy cameras like those Lumix, makes this a very difficult setup, but I'm not going to mount anything to my ceiling. That, that, that's not an option. The other uh, tripod that I would use would be this guy. Uh, currently it's put away, but normally this guy would be right here underneath that. And it's what I use for my main role. So as, I, as I'm sitting in the studio chair, that's the camera I'm looking into and talking to the, to the, to the you guys, the viewers. My new tripod is this one here. Same system, but I use this one with a special arm here for the phone. So I can connect my phone to this and then film off of that. I then have three studio lights here, here, and the other one right now is pointing that way. This came as a three pack and I love the studio lights. We can adjust the color grade. So right now, we're 46K, I can lower this down to 32, which is like incandescent lighting. Uh, we can go really high up if we wanted to go up to like 56. I find 46 to be the number I like. I can also change the brightness and I could do RGB on these as well. Um, let's go talk about the setup over here. So this is the corner i call it the corner because it's obviously the corner of my office and it's kind of my dedicated filming space we did this me and my uh, father-in-law put this wall in this is real wood uh, real barn wood and i was super impressed with how this came out and it really transformed the space and then i kind of just took knickknacks from around the house to finish filling out my area so here you can kind of see some of the stuff we have. I've got a Game of Thrones horse, the Throcky horse, got that from Comic-Con. Uh, some dragons, Game of Thrones egg. Got a baby Yoda holding resin uh, with mosquitoes in it from, you know, Jurassic Park. That's real though. I try to keep a game on display here, the game I'm currently playing or working on. And then the dragon, and then more games down here. And over here, again, I have more games. Now, these games are games that I try to keep on display, either because I love the box art, or it's a game that I'm currently working on. And then on top, I just have more knickknacks, things that have special meanings for me, more Baby Yoda. We like Baby Yoda in this house. And more games. My Harry Potter wands. My Star Wars badge. Some spaceships. I'm a big, big spaceship fan. I'm a big space fan. Plus, I like Halo. I like Mass Effect. 
some more games over here. Some of my favorite books. So that comes to a conclusion for this side, but we can come back over here now and talk about this studio. So here I have my microphone. I actually have two of these. So the microphone that I'm using on my computer is the same microphone that I'm using here. These are Shure SM7Bs. These require phantom power to operate fully and I'm running on a cloud amplifier to boost the signal. Normally I hide everything down here. Uh, because I only have one recorder, the, I have to transfer it between the computer, depending on what day I'm filming or what I'm doing, I have to transfer it. But normally I keep everything down here to hide it so it's out of view. I love this microphone. I love the clarity of the microphone. Um, the fact it requires phantom power is a little annoying because it's just more money to pay for things. But overall, it's been a great little little device. And then back here, I do have hidden back here. This is where I keep my lav mic if I want to record on a lav instead of a stand-up microphone. I just don't like the ruffling sounds that mics those mics make, and uh, so I just don't use it as often as I probably should. Let's talk about the recorder because that was an important part of the feature that I didn't really cover. So over here, you see I have my secondary mic, same mic, but this one's attached to a boom arm. And it comes around here to my Zoom recorder. This is an H6 recorder. And what's great about this is originally, I was gonna run a podcast on the show. So back here, you can see there's hookups for different types. There's four total hookups here. Here, two here and two here. And then you can see the channels here. So I guess you can't really see them, but there's four channels here. So what this does is actually, as you're recording or talking, it films or it records each individual person on a separate wavelength so that you have individual audio for them. And this also generates the phantom power to power your microphone, which is great. And I was able to find out that I can connect this to my computer to actually turn it into a microphone for my computer which has been incredible. So I don't have to use my headset mic anymore for gaming or just talking on Discord. I actually use my professional studio mic for any kind of communication now, which has been a big plus. So that's, that's pretty much my studio. The last thing that's the newest thing is actually my computer. Uh, I bought this computer, let's turn the light off. I bought this computer, I actually built this computer because my wife's went down and she needed it for work. So I gave her mine, my old one, and I decided I'm gonna build a new one that's gonna be my editing machine. So this has, I believe, a 16 core um, uh, AMD Ryzen with 128 uh, uh, gigs of or, uh, memory. I can't remember what they're called now. Sounding like a real freaking idiot. But I did build the thing, okay guys? I built this thing myself. It's got 10 fans, it's freaking absurd. I went a little nuts, I will admit that. But it's cool, it's mine. And I'm happy with it. So, that's the studio. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I've been wanting to do a studio tour for like a few months now. It's actually, it's been on my dock and I just keep pushing it back because I had other things I was wanting to do. Um, but I wanted to do a studio tour, kind of show you guys behind the scenes of my office and the setup that I have going on here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I would love to do more vlogs. I just don't know how they would inter integrate into the channel and, and whatnot. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, for now. I will talk to you all very soon. Talk to you in the comments. Bye-bye.